Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a quick video. I'm going to show you a review and demo of the Rabbit TV. I shared it in my last haul. If you guys did not see that haul, I will have it linked down below. But I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step demo on how to set it up and my thoughts on it. If you should buy it, if it's worth the dollar. Um, yeah, I am going to show you that all right now. If you are interested, then just keep watching. So if you do not know what a Rabbit TV is, it is something that is USB based. You plug it into your computer or desktop, your laptop or your desktop. You can also plug it into your TV, I believe, if you have a smart TV that's able to be connected to your internet Wi-Fi. Um, this is what it says. It says that it's internet's premier web-based e-guide e-media guide to watching TV shows, movies, live events, and music on demand 24-7. So when you take the USB out of the packaging, you're just going to stick it into the USB slot, and it's so simple. Once you do that, this screen is going to pop up, and this is the new user registration form. You're go they're going to have you set up a username, a password, your email, your name, your address, all of that good stuff before you can even see what shows they have to offer but I'm going to give you a sneak peek right now so when you do all of that it comes to this screen and it's going to have you upgrade they're going to want you to pay additional money to get additional things I just said no thank you they're saying you can get two years free for only ten dollars I passed on that um, these are the shows that they have to offer so I was really surprised to see that they had like ABC NBC all of the major networks um, I was really excited to see that to be honest I thought that it was going to be a lot of like bootleg TV shows so like gimmicky TV shows like a lot of times you get that I have a Roku I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but the Roku has a lot of apps that have similar similar things where you can get certain TV shows but they're either really old they're no good um, or I'm just not interested in them. This allows you to watch live TV. You could pull up live Fox News. You could pull up all, th all types of different stuff. The picture was clear. It worked fine for me. It did not give me a virus. I do run off of a Mac, so a PC may be different because I know that they have different standards. So if you are running off of a PC, I would just be a little bit careful. I would try to have some type of virus protection before I was putting it into my computer because I know a lot of times with PCs, I've gotten so many viruses. So just be careful. Um, these are the shows that they had to offer. I saw First 48. They had all different types of movies and TV shows. Some of them are pay-per-view, so some of them you do have to pay for. It seems like they go fetching the internet to see where they can find it, and then they have you buy it. So um, you are able to buy some movies off of Amazon, YouTube, just different places that sell movies. They connected you with those sites. So it seems like it's just connecting you with them. It's not like they're, they have the movies and you can watch it there. It's like they show you where you can find this at. Like you can see here, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. YouTube and these were something that you paid to those websites to watch their movies so this was $7.99 to watch Matilda I'm um, just an example uh, they had a lot of different kids TV shows and movies and things like that they had um, free ones a lot of them were free so it's not like you use it and a lot of them are, you had to pay for there were some that we did not know what they were and there were some that we did know what they were so for the dollar, I thought that it was a good price. They had a wide variety of stuff. I searched Annie for my son because he wanted to watch it, and you did have to pay for it. But you can just click through and see what's free and what's not. Um, I wouldn't expect a brand new movie to be free, but hey, what are you going to do? If you're looking for additional TV, if you don't want to pay for cable, if you have the internet and run off of an internet thing like the Roku like we do, this is a great option to have. You know, it's only a dollar for the first year. It's only going to cost you a dollar. I don't know if I would pay for a second year, but I definitely think that it's worth a dollar. I did not have any problems with my computer running slower. I didn't have any problems setting it up. I didn't have any problems with the actual movie playing or skipping or buffering or anything like that. So, so far, so good. I wanted to give you guys a look and see what movies they had to offer, what TV shows they had to offer. They do run ads before um, before the show. So this one we watched some panda show and there was an ad before it, but you know, that's kind of given. So there was an ad. It's not ad free. There's ads all over the screen. So they are running ads on it, but for the $1, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. Leave me a comment down below. Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? Do you have any recommendations on something else? I would love to know what you guys are thinking. If you've tried it, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you find this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps others find my videos. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it'll make me happy. And I will see you guys in my next video. 
Bye, guys.